Serum students, hope you all are fine and healthy. Today we will learn a new lesson in geography. That is lesson number three, motions of the earth. That means the movements in which the earth moves. In this lesson we will learn about rotation, revolution, leap year, solstices. That is summer solstice and winter solstice and about equinox but today we will learn about rotation revolution and leap year children you know that everything in the universe is in motion nothing is stationary that means everything moves and our earth also moves continuously in the space so, what are the motions of the earth? The earth has two types of motions. That is rotation and revolution. What is rotation? Rotation is the movement of the earth on its axis. Do you know children that the earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. And the earth it rotates from west to east. What do you mean by axis? The imaginary line around which the earth rotates is called its axis. What is revolution? The movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or orbit is called revolution. You can see here the earth is revolving around the sun. So, this movement is called as revolution. The imaginary line on which the earth moves around the sun is called its orbit. Now, let us see what is orbital plane. Here, you can see an example of a top is given. We know that the earth it rotates like the spinning top and the top we can see is having an iron rod in the center which helps it to spin. But do you think that the earth is also having a rod in the middle in the center? No, actually it is just an imaginary line that we are imagining. There is no iron rod as such. Okay. So we just imagine. So the axis of the earth which is an imaginary line. It makes an angle of 66 and a half degrees with its orbital plane. The plane formed by the orbit is called the orbital plane. Here in these diagrams children you can see. In the first diagram, the distance between the earth and the sun changes along the path as the earth's orbit is elliptical. You cannot see the entire surface as it is limited in the line of sight. So, when the surface appears as a straight line, all the points in that surface are at the same level and such a surface is called a plane. Now if you see the second diagram. So this imaginary surface is called the plane of the earth's orbit. Similarly the earth's orbit appears as a straight line. And we know that the earth it moves around the sun. As the sun is within the orbital plane. So the earth's axis makes an angle of 66 and a half degrees with the orbital plane. Now if you see the third diagram. The angle of the rotation is at 23 and a half degrees from the upright position. Children, we can understand it more clearly by seeing these two diagrams. Here you can see the tilt of the axis. If you see the first diagram. The earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degrees on its orbital plane. 
and if you see the second diagram we can see the earth's axis is tilted at 23 and a half degrees on the line which is perpendicular to its orbital plane children can you tell how is the rotation of the earth responsible for causing day and night yes the earth rotates on its axis from west to east and completes it in 24 hours so when the earth rotates the half portion facing the sun causes day and the other half remains in darkness causing night thus day and night is a continuous phenomenon because of the rotation of the earth now let us learn a new topic what is the circle of illumination we know that the earth it receives light from the sun so due to the spherical shape of the earth only half of it gets light from the sun at a time and the portion facing the sun it experiences day while the other half away from the sun experiences night now here you can see in the diagram given you can see the circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called the circle of illumination now as we know that the earth's axis is tilted isn't it so the circle of illumination does not coincide with the axis here children you can see two diagrams are given that is in figure 3.1 we can see that the angle of inclination of the earth's axis with its orbital plane is 66 and a half degrees and if we see the figure 3.2 we can see that day and night are formed on the earth due to the rotation so we can say that the circle of illumination does not coincide with the axis now let us learn what is earth day as we know that the earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis this is the daily motion of the earth so what is this known as this period of rotation is known as the earth day children what would happen if the earth did not rotate if the earth it did not rotate the portion of the earth facing the sun would always experience day that is it would continuously warm only that region and the other half would remain in darkness and be freezing cold all the time so the life would not have been possible in such extreme conditions and the lives of animals and plants would not sustain in such harsh conditions children we learnt about revolution of the earth that is revolution is the second type of motion of the earth it is the movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or orbit now if you see the orbit you can see it is in an elliptical shape isn't it so perihelion position is the position of the earth nearest to the sun and the farthest position is called aphelion the earth takes 365 and 14 days that is 365 days and 6 hours that is around 1 year to complete one revolution around the sun however children if we count one year is equal to only 365 days and ignore 
6 hours for the sake of convenience. Now, those 6 hours saved every year, they are likely to make one day. We know in a day we have 24 hours. So, 6 multiplied by 4, it comes to 24 hours over a span of 4 years. Now, if we add this surplus day to the month of February, thus every 4th year, February is of 29 days instead of 28 days. And this year with 366 days is called a leap year. Children, this year February had how many days? Yes, it had 29 days. So, this year is called a leap year. Now, let us recap what we have learnt today in this lesson. We learnt about two types of motions of the earth. That is, rotation and revolution. Rotation is the movement of the earth on its axis. And the axis of the earth, which is an imaginary line, makes an angle of 66 and a half degrees with its orbital plane. The portion facing the sun experiences day, while the other half away from the sun experiences night. And the circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called the circle of illumination. The earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. It is known as the earth day. We also learnt about what would happen if the earth did not rotate. That is the portion of the earth facing the sun would always experience day. Thus bringing continuous warmth to the region and the other half would remain in darkness and be freezing cold all the time and life would not have been possible in such extreme conditions and we also learnt about the second motion of the earth around the sun in its orbit which is called as the revolution and the earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete its revolution and for the sake of convenience a calendar year is considered to be equal to 365 days every fourth year that is 6 hours multiplied by 4 is equal to 24 hours an extra day is added such a year of 366 days is called leap year Children, we will learn more about this chapter in our next class. Now children, let's do an activity. Find out when will the next leap year be. I hope you all have understood this lesson very well. We will learn more about it in our next class. Thank you.